Hey everyone, this is Alex Brunner with RHG Products and Tucker USA. In this video, I want to talk about the Alpha Scrubber. Uh, in the past, I've talked to uh, quite a number of people that said it's a fantastic uh, scrubbing brush uh, with the exception of getting into the corners. And further in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how it is absolutely possible to use this uh, to clean effectively with windows that have frames like commercial glass or even residential. Uh, so uh, enjoy this video. These windows have been tr traditionally done, meaning uh, with the scrubbing the squeegee, uh, and you can kind of see the trail marks uh, from the soap uh, bleeding. Okay, out. so now I am getting ready to turn this on. We have all this paired up to our fill and go system that's actually uh, inside in our showroom. Everyone's welcome to come check it out if you're in the area. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, like I mentioned previously, that these have been done traditionally. So these are going to have a built up of soap and dirt uh, in these gaskets on the side. So I'm going to use a swivel so it doesn't flood the all the seals and the gaskets up here. Really get up in there. And scrub that dirt and I'm going to do the tops first let that the tops dry go to the next one make sure I really get in these corners then I'm going to kind of go ahead, scrub the west of it here. Not worrying about going up at the top. Get that really scrub well. Now that the top has stopped dripping, I'm going to get up as close as I can using the swivel gooseneck. So I'm not going to ram this all the way to the top, but actually come in this way. And control my, my rinse. So like I said, it doesn't hit the top. Then I, as I rinse, I'm going to rinse the sides and really flood those seals, get flush out all that dirt and spills up soap. And now I'll just take care of the rest of the window. Come back here, get this done real well. Scrub it real quick again. Get these frames. And then take care of the glass. Got some caked on stuff. All right. And there you have it. Now we can see glass still drying below right here in this direct sun. It's about probably getting close to 85 degrees, so it's they're drying pretty quick. We're seeing some great, you can tell these are going to dry spot free. And no issues uh, in the frames. So when you use, utilize both the rinse bar and the swivel gooseneck, you can get into the corners, into the frames on commercial glass using 
the alpha scrubber. Here's a little bonus footage. Uh, this is why I think the combination of the swivel uh, gooseneck with the rinse bar really can't be beat on commercial glass, uh, especially when you're doing something like this. Uh, we have uh, different shapes. If you had a fix, uh, trying to get up in there and um, navigate the, you know, the the angles and making sure you really get a good scrub and a rinse up in the corners would be difficult. But with this, um, just can't really can't be beat. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to how to take care of these uh, different shape windows uh, and uh, get them done the right way. Here we go. Turn on our flow. Same as the other windows, I'm going to get up in there really good, especially because I know I was the one the last cleaned it traditionally, and so I know there's going to be soap up in there. So I'll get that scrubbed really well, and then kind of come down here, let that stuff dry. So I'll scrub the rest of that, but just get to pre-scrubbing this while that top dries. Still running. Uh, dripping, so I'm gonna let it dry for a bit, so it just flow off. You know, when you're you're doing commercial glass, you really want to pay attention to that. Make sure that that top isn't gonna bleed on you, and then you go uh, wash the rest of it, rinse it really good, only to find drip marks because you don't let the top to dry. Uh, because we're in the shade, it's going to take a bit of time uh, drying here. But uh, once that stops, um, you can go ahead and do the rest of it. Like the other windows, don't go back and touch in the top. You want to let that stage dry. But get as close as you can. And this is why with the rinse bar and the, the gooseneck, you can adjust your angle just right. And not touch the tops again. And here's another bonus of the rinse bar. This is really pretty hydrophobic. You can see how it's beating up pretty fast, but with the, uh, the rinsing action of the rinse bar, it, it almost, for that brief period, kind of turns a hydrophilic giving you good ample coverage of your rinsing, ensuring you get a spot free results. Mm -hmm.